Now it's time to compare strings. Let's just grab the code right here. And we'll paste it on top. Now I did keep all the other code we were doing before. Maybe I'll do that here. So you got control slash to comment. I'm gonna knock out all the extra space here. Push all that down and then paste in. Alt shift F. I still have that extra print line at the end. Uh, okay, so let's run this. Uh, play again. So just looking at what's on the screen, I wanna type in yes, if I wanna play again. Oh no, it said goodbye. But it looks like it should be equal to yes. Well, there's one problem, there's a space. But that's not what broke it. Still says goodbye. Okay, uh, now I will say overall, you probably want to do answer equals yes, or answer equals y, just to give them uh, two options, uh, but still won't work. So strings are what's called immutable, meaning that this string that I've highlighted is not exactly the same as this string. However, there is another way to compare them. We're gonna do uh, answer dot, so this is all the methods we can do on a string here. And here we go, we got a few different equals. So you can do equals or equals ignore case. Now a lot of times equal ignore case uh, is the way to go because it doesn't matter if, uh, now by the way, the, the default one in here is always gonna be true uh, because it is, answer is going to equal itself. We don't want to check if it equals itself, not useful. So equals ignore case, yes. Uh, we also want to go with the same thing, except with just a Y. Okay. Play again. Y, let's go. Play again, big Y, let's go. Play again, Y, yes, let's go. Play again, Y, E, goodbye. Uh, if you want to allow partial, instead of the full word, there's a contains. Uh, there is no uh, contains ignore case. Uh, it does need to be a char sequence. So I think we can go like that. We'll cut off that last condition, run this. So it's not gonna, uppercase not gonna work, uh, but we can do Y. We could do Y E. Oh. It contains just a Y. All right, but what are we, next line, no way, contains a Y. So you do need to be a little bit careful about what methods you check. I would say this is probably, Come on, equals ignore case. This is probably the way to go right here. Yes or why. All right, we can do uh, compare two. Tells you if they're, um, one of them comes before the other one alphabetically. So let's go ahead and check out compare two. It's gonna return a true or a false. And take out the extra space. All right, so which one comes first alphabetically? The D's before the L. So name two comes before name one. Uh, I like to see the actual value, which is a bit annoying to do th that. And paste, but now we gotta go one, two, there we go. So that becomes before Alan Turing. Uh, let's go ahead and do that symbol. Okay, 
Now, just to warn you, space is going to change things. Space comes before every letter, so that puts that one first. Uh, what about numbers? Of course, one comes before two. Uh, and then if we did three, two, two comes before three. So there isn't an, an ordering to all of this. Uh, where does that come from? That comes from all the Unicode uh, encodings of all these letters. Uh, and you can look that up. Unicode. You can search Unicode uh, on uh, Google. All right, equals and compared to are case sensitive. So what that means Oh, come on, fingers. So let's go with the same one, and you see the names are the same. Uh, they are, one does compare to. Now, compare to returns an integer. You can see that. Oh, you could see it if you moused over it. I guess not. Can we start typing it out? And this will tell you compare to uh, based on Unicode value. Uh, the, da, 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 the result somewhere, where did that go? All right, a value let negative less than zero if the string is less than the string before and a value greater than zero if the string is greater than the string argument and zero if they're the same. Uh, so that's how you can see what uh, the compare method does. So we saw it run the same here now. I think we saw in an earlier lecture which one of these came first, and I think it's the big letter. Yep, so the big letter comes before a little letter, and not only that, the big letter comes before all the little letters. So I could even put a Z, and you're going to see Z comes before C, but only because it's big versus small.